Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine reading. This is for the Divine Femmes watching. We're going to be looking at your DM and seeing what's going on with them. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What do you need to know um, in regards to this situation? This can be for any sign watching. If you clicked on this reading, then there may be something in here for you. So, um... Be aware of the messages that are coming up. Um, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly um, and hopefully there's a spot available. Otherwise, um, stay tuned and let's see what we have here. Overall energy, first and foremost, let's see um, what's coming up for this Divine Masculine. Let's lay out some cards. Okay, so overall energy, we've got the Chariot, the Death, and the Ten of Swords. So there is some sort of ending that um, Divine Masculine hasn't reconciled with. Now, it could be a Cancer or a uh, Scorpio. So if you're dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio, Divine Masculine, this person has come up. Um, there's some recent pain or hurt in a situation or possibly, feel, uh, possibly they feel betrayed about a situation. Um, I get a sense that there might be an ending or this could be like an ex- if you haven't separated from someone, it could be showing that this person is stuck in the past somehow. Okay, so straight away their subconscious is trying to tell them something. There may be a secret they're holding on to or a secret they know you have, but this is about things that are hidden. So this divine masculine needs to look at the subconscious part of themselves right now. Now, something that they did or said has caused some pain in a connection. This Divine Masculine is feeling that pain right now. They're feeling some sort of loss here. I think they're trying to be strong and trying to be courageous in a situation with a chariot. But don't be fooled by what you see, okay? It's not always what you get, Divine Feminine. So what I'm seeing here is that um, regardless of how they're portraying themselves, they could still be hopeful that the two of you reconnect or that you'll somehow overcome some sort of argument. They still feel like you're meant for each other or that you guys are really compatible. Okay, this is the two sphinxes are like they're equal, but it takes two to tango. And this connection, this relationship can't move forward without your divine femme. So right now things are, I'm assuming things have stopped entirely or things can't move forward, can't progress forward. Okay, they feel like a part of them has been lost here. So this is really powerful. Let's go on and clarify some of these um, let's clarify the death card first and foremost. Um, actually, no, let's go Ten of Swords. Air energy, so it can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Why are they feeling betrayed or hurt about a situation? What's this Ten of Swords trying to tell us about this Divine Masculine? Okay. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Strong water energy. So for those um, dealing with a water sign, Divine Masculine, this person is coming up. Okay, the water sign is hurt or someone's very deeply emotionally disturbed. Something that they've lost. Okay, you might have threatened to walk away. This could be your Divine Feminine energy coming up here. Um, or you might have put them in a friend zone. And they're not too happy about being there. Okay, if you've sort of backed away and you're treating them friendly, but you're not treating them romantically, they're, I can't say they're too happy about it. Knight of Cups, they're having mood swings. They're very moody to the people around them. They could also be very moody to you. Um, that's because they haven't dealt with something. I get a sense of this is like more for those that, three of, three of Cups, I mean, some things hurt them. But they're trying to play it cool. They're not seeking revenge at this stage. Um, they're moody about it. They feel like they've lost something though. And this in turn, with the Three of Cups, it's like... Three of Cups is like that friendship card, you know. Um, so it's like they're still being friendly. Mm, you know, maybe they're not going off at you. They're not blocking you. They're not disappearing entirely. They're still trying to be friendly, but inside they're hurting. But they don't want to let you know this because you'll have a reaction to it as well. So we've got the Knight of Cups. They obviously still care. So whatever this Ten of Swords situation is, whatever this hurt or betrayal or ending that happened has hurt them. And the Knight of Cups is like, 
they're still interested emotionally. They're still invested. They could even be frustrated with themselves because they can't cut their losses. Five of Cups. They can't just walk away and move away entirely. It's not in their energy right now. It's not something that they're prepared to do either. And maybe that's because you guys have a good foundation of being friends. You guys have been friends for a while. Um, you know, or maybe they just understand that it's immature to block you or to not talk to you and give you that silent treatment, which is good in itself, right? Let's let's give this divine masculine a little bit of credit if they're doing that and they're not resorting to immature stuff like blocking, um, trying to make you jealous and things like that. So it, it's a good thing. Um, I, I also feel Ten of Swords is like a self-sabotaging energy. So they may even be like, maybe you guys haven't fully like broken up or anything, but a part of them with this um with this five of cups a part of them it's like it's telling me a part of them is imagining what life is like without you and maybe this is self-inflicted they're self-inflicting this pain and imagining you guys broken up and you know that's that's unsettling with them um but let's go ahead and see what this secret is that they're holding with that death card scorpio energy so what do we have here with this death card why is it come up around divine masculine okay interestingly three of cups has come up again we've got the star card the wheel of fortune um okay this person wants to move away from their past somehow um, they know they need to do it. They know they need to move forward. But it's like they can't do it without you. Three of Cups is here again. So they need you in their life. They need you to help them move away from something. Now, it could be an addiction. It could be an ex. Something from their past they've tried to run away from. Or something from their past has affected your connection. And they know they need to bounce back and they need to heal from it got Aquarian energy here so they're pretty they're pretty bright they know what they need to do will they do it the opportunity from God or from the universe is there um you know the wheel of fortune sends us these opportunities so this has obviously come up for a reason so they can do that whatever they need to do to move away from their past it's possible and we've got the um the devil here which is Capricorn energy um the Sphinxes have come up with uh, Cancer. So it's like Capricorn versus Cancer. Um, so let's think about the Devil and the Devil card. Um, okay, so we've got toxic behaviors. Something toxic from their past. Maybe it's an addiction, okay? They're smoking, they're drinking, they're doing drugs. Maybe they're addicted to an ex. There is something that they're doing that's not healthy to the relationship, okay? Um, it's possible to change that. They're at a crucial time in their point right now. Um, so this past coming back up and posing a problem to your relationship is actually a lesson that this divine masculine needs to learn right now. Okay, they have to go through that energy. We've got the destiny card. So things that are written in our stars, especially anything we need to heal from or learn from that's in our destiny, it's come up around this person. This person's destiny is concerning their past or concerning, you know, those sort of secret things, things they're doing behind so they have an opportunity to heal a situation. Whether or not they're going to heal it is going to be dependent on this person. But the universe is telling them that it's probably about time that they do they do they do do this. Okay, um, so the opportunity is there. Okay, they might be self wallowing here, throwing themselves a pity party, wanting you to help, wanting you to be there, but you can't always be there for them. Or maybe you've been there for X amount of months, years, days. And you just don't have it in your energy to be there anymore. You know, you've supported them. Um, you know, we do have success. So success has come up next to this person, but it's like success together. Okay, we've got, we've got the chariot. It makes me think they're, they're holding on to some sort of hope here. Um, what is this chariot card next to this divine masculine? And what does it mean? Okay, they don't really know the best course of action right now. We've got the fool. Um, could be that they're feeling foolish about what they've done or they feel like a fool without you. 
Okay, so we have this four that's come up. Okay, there's a version of themselves. They're not reaching their full potential right now and they can see that. They could be the chariot if they really wanted to, but somehow they're being the fool. So it's like, the fool's got quite a bit of journey um, to take, I feel, before before he reaches success, before he comes to the chariot energy. Nine of Swords is telling me that they're scared of the unknown or they're having a bit of anxiety. They have like anxiety about reaching their potential. Maybe they're scared of that you'll change them, but really you're you're you know you're probably encouraging good things for them. You know you're probably not encouraging them to go out there and be with different people and um, sleep around or do things that are toxic to them. You have their best interest at heart, but for them they're fearful. With the Nine of Swords, it's like trepidation, anxiety. Like, what if this person changes me? What if I'll never be the same person again? But that's a part of life, you know. That's that's the next stage that they need to go at. They need they need to go to to have commitment and stability, because you you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like that commitment and stability is absolutely possible. But it's like this divine masculine needs to step up to make that happen. You know, I'm sure there's other things, divine fam, that you can work on and you need to do on your side, um, and we'll possibly look into the advice for you a little bit later. But they have stability if they really want it they can get it with you queen of pentacles is stability and whatever that means for them like being in a harmonious relationship moving in you know being closer together being exclusive whatever it means for this divine masculine it's there it's in their potential but right now they don't want to reach that potential okay maybe they're lost they're still looking for themselves we had the fool so they've got to make some mistakes They've got to make some mistakes, but they're fearful at the same time of making too many and then possibly never getting you back. Remember, they're self-sabotaging, so they're thinking about scenarios of losing you over something that they could potentially change or work on um, and then put it to the past. Put it to the past, move on from it, and work towards a much more better stage in your commitment, right? Like it's in front of them, but they're not doing it. Um, what are they doing? Let's see. What What is this person doing in this sort of situation currently? High Priestess, Six of Cups, the Devil. <clears throat> okay, they could still be in, just trying to distract themselves with like indulgent behaviors. Going out, drinking, doing everything but addressing or responding to the issue at hand. So that there's definitely some avoided behavior here. The High Priestess with the Devil, Six of Cups, they could be telling their friends about you. But we've got children here or we've got they're telling people about you or about your situation that aren't really in a position to give advice so they're probably not getting the best advice you know they could be going to that friend that's no good um they could be going to a friend that's dysfunctional they could be going to a sibling that has a biased opinion of you so they're not getting the advice that they need some of you this person is like getting tarot readings about you maybe you know the high priestess could be like a tarot reader or a psychic they're trying to tap into your energy maybe so they're trying to suss out where you are what you're doing, what you're feeling, you know. So it could be like they're getting private readings, uh, they're getting a tarot reading on you. Um, so they're doing their own little bits and pieces. Is it constructive to the relationship? Probably not. Um, the cards don't indicate that they're taking as much action as they should, but they still feel linked to you. Okay, there's a link here. So they still feel linked. But the devil puts pressure. So I'm wondering if you've possibly put a bit of pressure on this person. And that's why Six of Cups, they're in the early stages. Look, they could even be distracting themselves with someone else. Because they feel like, oh, okay, you know, maybe if I talk to someone else, that person's going to be better. That person's going to be different. But it's in its early stages. So very likely that they won't attach or they'll have to keep comparing you to this person. Again, it's like running away from a problem rather than addressing it. So that's what they need to do. 
Um, they need to do that divine fem. You need to let them do whatever it is that they need to do right now. Um, but let's let's see what comes up in the cards. Uh, what's the advice for divine feminine in this situation? And they could be acting childish here as well. You know. What, Okay, Seven of Cups. Okay, you've got um, Water Energy. You've got Seven of Cups and Queen of Cups. Okay, you still care. You're obviously invested in this person. You obviously want the best for them. Pisces Energy. You've got both come up with Pisces Energy. So I think at times, you know, the message is you're hopeful and you're invested. And then other times you sort of want to switch off. Um Seven of Cups is you need to find the feeling place of where you are in this relationship. So if you're going to be there to support them, do it 100%. Don't be wishy-washy. Don't back out on your word. Um, if you're going to leave them alone and you're going to let them be to their own choices and whatever they want to do, you need to let you need to let that happen. So it's like deciding, giving yourself, okay, I'm either in it or I'm not. Okay, because you've been very back and forth and it hasn't helped the situation. Uh, you've got the Knight of Wands as well, so you're impatient. You want to see those results. Um, you sort of want to dive into the situation, but your impatience might be what's pressuring them right now. Uh, so the message here is maybe you need to distract yourself with whatever you need to do, work, ambitions, hobbies. You need to focus on bettering yourself and leveling up internally because you've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So it's either this person you know, pulls up their socks and makes it happen or, or they don't. You know, there's only one of two things that can happen here, really. So you need to look at this for what it is, uh, Divine Feminine. It's hard because you're emotionally attached, of course, but so are they. And if it's strong enough, don't put the pressure on them. You know, don't try to get them jealous. Don't do any of this immature um, page of wands. Did I say night? I meant page. Page of wands can be immature. I can do these things to try to make them jealous. Okay, so some of you are out there thinking... I'm going to go and get with a guy or um, I'm going to go to that place he doesn't like me going to. You know, you're purposely doing something maybe to make them jealous, but it might backfire. We see all these flames coming up, so it could do more damage than and more harm than good. So just be mindful of what it is. Think about things. We've got the two of pentacles. Try to be level headed about the situation here. But like I said, there's only one. There's only really one of two ways where this relationship could go. And this is going to, you know, you're going to see that in time, this current energy. So if you're finding yourself in this reading, which is timeless, it could be that right now, this is what spirit or what the tarot, or the universe wants you to know right now, but things are subject to change as well. So um, keep updated um, on the channel. Keep tuning in because I'll continue to do these uh, readings um, and hopefully you'll have some answers coming up in the next few days. But really do appreciate you joining me. Thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to join the YouTube fam. Um, please send through any suggestions, any readings you'd like to see on the channel to my email. It's listed below. Um, otherwise, all the best everyone. Much love and bye for now.